Taurus, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for September 5th through the 11th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Taurus. What's going on here? All right, the overall energy for the reading, the High Priestess. You could be very much in tune with your intuition or your intuition is really trying to speak to you and you're not necessarily listening. We'll see when we clarify. Uh, in the recent past, the Magician, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, you were trying to manifest something here, something to work out. Um, I get the sense that it didn't, but your manifestation is still tied up to this thing. Like it needs to work out, it needs to work out. Uh, okay. In the current situation, the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Six of Cups, there's an inner struggle there uh, attached to a soul connection you've got going on with someone here. Um, you're moving towards the soul connection, but very, very slow because of that inner struggle. That's what kind of slows you down. Um, so, okay. In the immediate future, the Four of Wands, the Temperance, the King of Cups. Well, look at that. <laughs> Uh, commitment, love, good things. I don't see it as immediate as it sounds. So with the temperance there, it looks like it's going to be a little bit. You know, it's going to be a minute. So, let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the high priestess. No. No. The moon, the nine of wands, the will of fortune. Yeah. You have been um, going a little bit against your intuition, you know, against the tide there, but things are changing. Something's changing here where I see your intuition and then I see you unwillingly and, you know, thinking that maybe I am following my intuition, but realizing that, oh, wait a minute, that wasn't my intuition, what I followed. I thought that was my intuition, but it wasn't. Because um, something's changing, where I feel like you're really starting to get in tune with your intuition this time around. You know, so good. Let's do the magician. What? Hold on. Juno, could you climb off the walls? Thank you. I saw this because it's dark behind this, and I just see a figure kind of on the wall. <laughs> anyway, Juno. Um, and Felix is looking at her like, wait, wait. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> you know? Okay. Uh, let's do the magician. The Seven of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Ooh, man. Yeah, you were manifesting this, but repeatedly kept on walking away from your own manifestation so it's like me wanting something and then being like fuck it no i don't want it i don't really mean it blah 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 blah, blah. you know it's like your soul is up here trying to create something for you and you're all the way here being like no go away go play that game someplace else please leave me alone repeatedly yeah that's not uh, listening to your intuition there. Hey, hey, stop it. Let's do the Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups, Six of Cups. Whatever this was, uh, I see your involvement in it. I see you giving energy to this. There's not only energy, there's love given to this. And it has to do with the Six of Cups that you're currently kind of heading in that direction. Um, it didn't work out in the past, though, by the looks of it, but there's definitely a sense of, uh, you know, I'm giving what I can, it's fine, it's beautiful, it's, uh, it's good, it's work out. There you go. So, 
So let's do the Ten of Swords. Page of Wands, Three of Pentacles, the Justice card. Maybe trying to keep this as a friendship at some point. I don't see that working out either. There's definitely a sense of nope. Like, nope. Something didn't work out here. Uh, let's do the Knight of Pentacles in the current situation. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords. You're currently healing. Um, that's what you're working on, you know? And there are times where you feel like there's no progress, there's no nothing, there's no healing, leave me alone, what the hell are you talking about? There are times where, because it's so slow, but it is moving, this energy. So you are healing. It's just that at times it feels like you're not. Um, because you're, you're showing me a sense of, I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't know if I'm even doing it. You are. Let's do the five of wands. Ten of swords, knight of swords, page of swords. That ten of swords in the past, that thing that didn't work out, I feel like you want to break through it. Um, so there's that energy kind of standing in the way um, of, you know, didn't work out. It ended. Whatever the hell happened. And it's like, yeah, but I want to go right through it. Like, screw it. Um, for some reason, you're backing away. The minute you're right there facing this energy, you're like, nope, don't go there. You know, for some reason, you keep on backing away. And that's why this inner conflict is here. Because you're pushing towards, let me do this because I feel like I want to. And then you're backing yourself away from what you feel you want to do. So, let's do the Six of Cups. Seven of Cups, King of Swords, Eight of Swords. Yeah, very much confused about this energy. Uh, you're in or trying to convince yourself to move away from this completely at times, but it's very confusing what's happening here for you. Uh, where you feel like you're coming from a clear mind and then you're showing me it's not really clear. And I feel like you're getting that too, where you're not clear about it. Uh, even though you want to, you're coming from a... Hmm, almost pushy place, almost like, I need to, I need to do this, I need to move on, I have to, but do you feel that you need to, or have to, or, you know, because that's where I feel like it gets confusing, where you're pushing yourself to do something, and then the mind comes in and confuses the hell out of you, when that happens, you're not connected to your heart, to how you feel about it, so I don't see you necessarily pouring your heart into this much, Maybe willingly. Um, not yet. Not now, by the looks of it. Uh, let's do the Four of Wands in the immediate future. Nine of Swords, King of Cups, Three of Wands. Yeah, you're kind of waiting for commitment, for love. There's definitely a sense of love that's coming through. Tied up to a commitment. And there's some pain in there. And that pain tells me that that love and commitment is not actually there. And with the Three of Wands, you're kind of looking at it. Which is telling me you're looking at it as an energy, but you're not necessarily experiencing it. Um, rather, you would experience the pain of it because it's not there. Okay, let's do the Temperance card. The Magician, the Five of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Kind of get a sense that you're starting to realize the ways in which you abandoned what you manifested for yourself in the past. Um, the deceptive energies around that. Again, that part where I really, really want something. My soul really is trying to create something beautiful for me here. And I'm just going to sabotage the hell out of this every moment I get an opportunity to do so. Um, so I, I see you really facing that truth to your own manifestation and kind of a hard truth to take but you're starting to realize the ways in which you stood in your own way 
especially tied up to this situation right here. Okay, that's a good sense of acknowledgement because it's going to lead you towards healing, towards forgiving self in there. Let's do the King of Cups in the immediate future. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Four of Wands, the Empress, the King of Pentacles. There's someone here that's shown up. And I feel like it's the same energy that shows up all over the map here for you. Uh, there is a sense of commitment here. Now, I don't know if there's a marriage involved or if it feels like there's one here. There's a bond. There's one of those indestructible kind of bonds that you feel towards this whoever this Empress is to you. Uh, there is a whole lot of love. And there's you attached to this whole situation. So as I said, I do see this coming together eventually. Give it time, give it healing, give it your sense of recognition over the ways you stood in your own way. Hopefully they will too for the ways in which they stood in their own way and things are gonna get towards some sort of something um, a little better. And I do see you heading in this direction, you know. Um, slower pace to it but still so you know off the wall thank you uh, don't jump on fellas okay let's see what the universe has baby girl Never been. Blah, blah, blah. the universe has juno for you do, do, don't look don't put your back Anyways. All right, from the universe, the Empress, the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Um, maybe things are at the stage of a friendship here, or someone's opening up to that possibility. Possibly you, because it's again tied up to this Empress of yours, whoever they are. Uh, someone's kind of opening up a door here, very small, minuscule mouse door. I didn't say mouse. Uh, but it's opening up towards possibly um, oh, friendship or something. I don't know. Collaboration, friendship, I don't know. Something. You want to chew on the Empress? You want to chew on the Empress? Yeah, you do, and I know you will, because you chewed on the Queen of Cups from another deck. Uh, that's what I got for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.